over right now. I'm cutting across to this one student who's returned from Ukraine now, and he is now back safe at Ernakulam, his hometown. I'm now joined by Amjad Navas. Amjad, thank you so much for joining me on Mirror Now. You have been with us ever through all through this evacuation process. You know what has been happening in Ukraine. Now that you're finally back home, how relieved are you? Just take our viewers through this ordeal that you had to suffer and now finally coming back home. Yeah, I think yesterday was the first good night of, of sleep I had in like uh, four or five days. It was like the best feeling ever. Uh, after the war started, it was like, uh, you know, a total hell. Uh, from Vinitsa, we, we had to travel like uh, 700, 800 kilometers to the border uh, by bus from the, uh, you know, it was like, it was like I, don't, I can't even express it in uh, you know words. It's like, it was too tough. It was terrible uh, because uh, there's a it was a crowded and uh, even everyone was getting pushed around everywhere, and the military was uh, you know shooting uh, shooting at the sky to avoid everyone from just you know pushing uh, pushing the border and uh, crossing it. Uh, then we had to wait for wait there for like I think we we waited there for two almost two days. Uh, we we didn't sit, we didn't uh, you know we didn't sleep. Mm. Uh, we only ate like ba we barely ate actually, uh, and uh, we had to you know we had to fight to cross the border. Uh, and uh, in the end, we and we eventually crossed the border. At after like almost two days, uh, we were like almost dead on our feet. Uh, then after that, um, after that also it was like uh, most of the students now who crossed the border were still waiting on the other side. Uh, for like two or three hours. Uh, the students, they're waiting for like more than three days. And then from there, right. uh, there was bus arranged for the airport, but uh, even the bus now, there is only like uh, one or two per day. So we and what we did was we asked the Romanian people to help us, but they were like really nice. They were, they treated us like their own and uh, they took us to the, uh, took us to a dorm uh, and gave us accommodation. Uh, then after that, mm -hmm. uh, the next day we uh, we could get trained to Bucharest. That's the capital, and from there we, we got a flight uh, back to India. Right, Amjad, uh, that's a very reliving piece of information that you've just shared to us because uh, we were getting, uh, you know, very conflicting views where a lot of people who are still stranded continue to say that uh, the Ukrainian troops, in fact, were not really helping them. There was a lot of harassment that was being reported from on ground. I'd like to understand this from you. When did you actually decide to walk to the border. You you said that you have boarded that train from Budapest and then, of course, the flight back home. When did you think that there is no help coming in? You have to start walking to the border so that you can at least think of being evacuated out of Ukraine. Uh, because um, after we traveled from Vinicia, uh, till uh, just before the border, till just before the border, because uh, when, when we reach the border, it's really crowded and we cannot uh, go to the um, border. Uh, with uh, with any car or anything, because there is a lot of traffic, so we had to walk like around uh, ten or fifteen kilometers. Then after we reach the border, that's where the true, you know, terrible stuff happens. Because almost four thousand students mm. were there in the border that we were trying to cross. Uh, almost four thousand students, and most of them were waiting there for like more than uh, three days, and. Uh, uh, there were ca camps that provide that were provided by like the Ukrainian uh, people, uh, and they were f uh, food and everything. Uh, mm. But still, it, it was not that you know, mm. it was not that good for, because there was a lot of students, almost four thousand students, and so more students were coming in each and every hour. So, uh, Amjad, how is uh, this evacuation process then being facilitated? How is the government deciding which students should they actually get? The on the flights first and uh, how is the process really taking place on ground because here we have to also tell our viewers is these are 4,000 students roughly 4,000 students who are already reached the border there are only a limited amount of flights which can obviously uh, seat about 200 to 250 students so far so not everybody can be uh, you know allowed to blow board the flight at once so how is the process being uh, facilitated there Actually, there is no, no rules or anything like that. I think they are just randomly selecting people, and most of the students they will just uh, try to get in, uh, get into the flight by themselves. Um, it's uh, there is no rules or anything like that. There is uh, they are just randomly selecting people, and in most cases, 
there is no help by the government other than the flight uh, even in the borders and in the shelters mm. some people might get selected some might not uh, there are uh, you know students waiting the uh, for like five five days uh, even my friend is stuck in the border still right still now he is stuck in the border uh, he he went uh, before me so he might be stuck okay. there for he is almost stuck there for like five days so it's just random actually there's no rules or anything you're taking care of your food and everything there is no arrangement for food and uh, water are you getting uh, food and water supply at the borders at the borders uh, they are providing food and water supplies but it's not the indian government or anyone at the uh, ukrainian and uh, romanian border we hmm. were uh, we got the food which was provided by the ukrainian citizens uh, for the refugees and after we crossed the border the romanian hmm. citizens who were really nice uh, they provided all the everything for us they were uh, really good okay all right uh, i'm just we are really glad that you're back and safe uh, back to the country and this is something Thank that you. is a story that we want to tell as much as possible because we understand that a lot of the indian families are still waiting for their loved ones to come back safely to yeah. the country